What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today Apple released iOS 11.2.1 and in this video I wanted to let you guys know a little bit about what's new in the latest iOS update along with its performance and stability. Now I also wanted to mention some of my brief thoughts on a new beta firmware that Apple also released today, iOS 11.2.5 Beta 1. And finally I wanted to touch on the jailbreak update a little bit so I will cover all of that in this video. Let's jump right into it. Now I need to get this out of the way beforehand guys, YouTube is not helping me push out my my videos too much in the subscription feed so if you want to keep track of my videos when they are posted click the bell button on my channel under the video as well you will be notified when I post a new video and it is definitely worth your while to do this guys if you do like my videos YouTube is very very annoying right now guys but I do not want you guys to miss out so be sure to click that bell button anyway moving on to iOS 11.2.1 so for those who don't know prior to iOS 11.2.1 there was a vulnerability in the home application in iOS. Now it is a bit scary guys, but hackers could get into the home app and control your home without you wanting them to or you even knowing. So essentially this update patches that bug on the server side on Apple's part. Now again, pretty creepy and nerve wracking that someone could just hack into your device and unlock doors of your house, hack into your house without you knowing. So it definitely is a good fix for Apple to roll out for us guys. Now alongside iOS 11.2.1, Apple also released the first beta of iOS 11.2.5. Now, I have no idea how they went from iOS 11.2.1 straight to 11.2.5. Seems like they skipped a whole bunch of numbers, so I really don't know. But regardless, I do have iOS 11.2.5 installed here on my iPhone 6S. Now, iOS 11.2.5 includes that same update as iOS 11.2.1, and honestly, not much else that I've actually noticed. Apple wasn't specific in their change log for this beta, so I'm assuming it fixes a few minor bugs along with the major bugs fixed in iOS 11.2.1, so these are essentially the same firmwares. Now I did run some benchmarks guys just to show you guys, and this time it gave me a few laughs. Now. Prior to iOS 11.2.5 on my iPhone 6S, guys, just so you know the background here, I had one of the original iOS 11 betas installed, so the difference is astounding in performance in the Geekbench, guys, so I just never took the time to update this from the regular betas of iOS 11. So anyway, beforehand, you can see that I had a minimal 594 single core score and a multi-core score of 1638. Now that is very, very, very bad, but actually after updating, it was updated to 1441 single core score and 2487 multi core score. So <laughs> it honestly just made me laugh, guys. The first betas of iOS 11 were so bad that the scores and the performance was just terrible. So honestly, this is just a lot better in the iOS 11.2.5 beta. Now this isn't really the best comparison, but at least it does show us that Apple is significantly improving the performance with every beta as they get closer to final release. Honestly, it also is just pretty funny to see such a huge disparity, guys. So regardless, that is the Geekbench test that I ran. Now I also did a storage comparison test to show you guys, which is probably a little more realistic in terms of updates when updating to 11.2.1 from iOS 11 or 11.1. .1. Before installing, I had 56.43 gigabytes available, and after installing, I had 57.22 gigabytes available. So it did increase the storage I had by quite a lot and gave me a little bit more available space. Now, as you can see in the change log here, guys, Apple doesn't even really list too much in the developer beta of 11.2.5. You can go to the website and view some more information, but in the change log, they don't list anything specifically. So I think think it is about the same as iOS 11.2.1. Now both of these firmwares, 11.2.5 beta and 11.2.1, still do not include iCloud messages. So I'm starting to doubt whether we will ever see this roll out, perhaps in iOS 11.3. Honestly, only time will tell guys, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. So moving on, I did wanna let you guys know a little bit about the jailbreak. Now for those interested in the jailbreak, iOS 11.2 or higher are not going to be compatible with the latest exploit. Now what that means is that you do need to downgrade your firmware if you do care about jailbreaking guys. The latest exploit is for iOS 11.1.2, so you will need to be on that firmware for it to work. I'm really optimistic that we are gonna see a jailbreak before the holidays here guys in the next couple weeks, so you definitely need to downgrade before Apple blocks the iOS 11.1.2 firmware while you still can downgrade. Obviously you must decide between the security and stability updates of the latest firmwares and a jailbreak, but if you do care about jailbreaking, downgrading is definitely key. I'm gonna keep my iPhone 10 on iOS 11.1.2 for now, just to see if we do get the jailbreak, but the decision is totally
totally up to you guys. Anyway, that is everything new about the latest firmwares, iOS 11.2.1 and the latest Apple news from today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up if you did enjoy the video, drop a thumbs up and stick around for more. I will also have my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, Instagram page and all of my other social media down in the description. Definitely follow those. I keep those up to date for you guys. And as always guys, thank you for watching. Stay awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.